Hi everyone, I'm Engineer Hoist. How are y'all doing tonight? I hope y'all had a great event. The uh, Scratch Finish event over this past weekend, that Prestige uh, event looking for the Outsiders Crystals and Tracks and Cutthroat. Uh, saw a lot of people getting lucky with the uh, three stars and the four stars and the two stars. And some people not so lucky. Uh, well... We're going to find out how lucky I am tonight, and if you saw my last video, I may have used up all of my luck uh, pulling that Alita 1, which was absolutely amazing. I, I could not believe it, as you can probably tell from that video. Uh, Tran Augustine, Sharksy, Blitzwing, Alexander Rose, also known as Razorquake, Grand Galvatron, Deadpool, Cameron Moore, It's Your Boy Destroyer 6. Uh, Emerald Gaming, Johnny Quest, uh, Bulkhead, Damon Swink, E, uh, Jeremy Plays, William, aka Hot Rod Skypoke. How are you guys go doing tonight? How will I top my Alita 1 grab? Uh, I don't think that's going to be topped. I, I, I think that's pretty much it. Red Alert, good to see you, man. Uh, a lot of people from the Non Toxic Gamers Alliance joining the stream uh, tonight. Very cool, and uh, so we're going to go through these 43. We got through 43 prestigious. Thank you so much to everybody who uh, helped out. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and go through that and see how everybody did. Uh, yeah, I, I uh, put in a lot of points. That was a lot of it was uh, leveling up Alita 1. Uh, I did spend a few coins on a few uh, runs of fuel cells there. Um, but uh, Razorbacks, as always, did well. Prime uh, came and uh, did uh, put up a lot of points. Uh, Boba the Great, Alpha Fighter helping out. Thank you, uh, friend of the Alliance. Uh, Soundhound, Blitzwing, Hayato also did uh, excellent scores. Quick Shadow, Wreck and Rule, fairly new to our Alliance, did excellent job. Skypoke, there you are, buddy. Texatron, Tordog, another friend of the Alliance. Former non toxic Gamers, Red Alert, outstanding job, my friend. And uh, there, as we're just scrolling through, Lead Pipes, another friend of the Alliance. Big Bronze R, he's been here the last few times. Thanks a lot uh, for helping out. Sentinel from the Primus family. And yeah, Alpha Prime, who also has a YouTube channel. You should go check him out. Uh, Destroyer X, DC Native. Uh, everybody just did, did a great job uh, in hel helping out and uh, put up some good scores. And uh, this is probably one of the highest scoring events uh, we've done. Uh, in the non-toxic gamers uh, so uh, congrats to everybody great job and uh, again thank you very much to anybody who uh, helped out all right so with that let's go through some crystals oh can I play the cutscenes oh you, you know I could but uh, I did some research on the voices and there ain't no way I'm gonna do a good cutthroat voice he's way too screechy <laughs> I've been looking at ways to maybe uh, not not live I haven't found any good ways to do it live but I've been looking at ways to maybe uh, modify the voice a little bit and hopefully uh, maybe do a little bit better with the uh, voice acting or whatever I mean we can still look through it but uh, not necessarily gonna be uh, great voice acting all right so let's go ahead and get through these crystals so as you know as you probably played we've got a chance for a two a three a four star tracks or a two star three star or four star shards and we're starting off with some four star shards if we're not going to get tracks let's hope we get a lot of those <laughs> two for two. Oh, and then we're back to the two star shards and it looks like we probably got a two star crystal waiting for us hey all right two star tracks pretty early on so that's good to see oh oh i see he had to flex before he could open up his wings and uh, his little uh, backpack there uh so yeah oh i forgot to tell you guys but to, to help me out here i've got a few of my uh, friends over here uh, a few of my different tracks figures uh so uh, on the uh, left there is the reveal the shield tracks in the middle is the masterpiece tracks and on the right you're gonna be like wait a second that's not tracks that's the age of extinction uh, 
Hot shot. Well, yeah, I had a whole little story for that back on my Facebook page a while back. <laughs> and if you want, I can show that to you a little bit later. So let's go ahead and uh, keep going with these crystals, shall we? So we got two star shards here. And we got a duplicate tracks. And that does give us some three star shards and some three uh, silver power cores. Which is pretty good food for leveling up. Two star shards there. Ooh, there's some more four star shards. And three star shards. Would be nice to see these lighten up at some point. Showing that we're getting a three or four star. It's only happened to me once, getting got that three star cup out of one of these event crystals, and that's it. It's nice to see that I wasn't shut out though. I did get at least the two star tracks. I was shut out from my free to play account over there in NTG Minibots. Didn't see a hide nor hair of any any level of tracks. Just a bunch of shards. But that's okay. We'll get them eventually. There's some more four star shards. Thinking about it, but no, just some two star shards. Uh, four star shards. You know, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm about done getting excited when it pauses for a second because it's almost never a good thing. <laughs> it hurts. It's, it's not necessarily, it's just not necessarily an indication of uh, a good thing. It's just the space bridge thinking about uh, not connected or something. So I did see somebody else's video. I think it was Fake Gamer. Uh, he actually pulled one of these and just sat there and just for like a minute and he got two star shards. So <laughs> it doesn't mean anything really if it pauses for a second. It only means anything if it starts lighting up. All right, some more four star shards there. There's another tracks. We already got the two star. We don't need the two star. And uh, okay, so we're about halfway through. Got a couple of tracks back to back. Two star shards. Four star shards. I don't. I don't think I'm that close to a four star crystal to be able to complete one. But hey, you know if they keep coming like that, you never know. There's three star shards. There's another tracks. Not the tracks we want. We already got that tracks. Let's set a little. Oh, here we go. We're lighting up. Lighting up for a three star. That's only my second three star that I've pulled from an event. But I'm happy, so because the uh, drought is over, but the drought for a four star continues. So okay, so I'm very happy to see that three star come through. That that's nice. That was very nice to see that come through. Still got a little more work to do. Got to get those uh, four. They find that four star. Got to find that four star. Got 14 chances still left to go. This is more shards. And more shards. Hey, at least they quit giving us Energon out of these crystals, right? There's another Trax. We already got that Trax. 10 more to go! More shards. Oh, we've got two sitting there. Maybe we got a three star crystal? That probably makes the most sense. Alright, seven more. No! Oh, I can't help it. When it pauses, I get a little excited. Gosh, more four-star shards. There's another Trax. Three more to go. Are any of these the lucky ones? Not that one. Two more. That one's not lucky either. Did give us the Trax? Hey, we got a duplicate three-star Trax. How about that? One more. Is this going to have the four star? 
No. Okay, well, I guess we'll have to keep chasing that four-star tracks at some point uh, in the future. But hey, we got a couple of crystals over here. Uh, let's go check them out on the Autobot side. So we've got a two-star and a three-star, but uh, hey, you know what? We're one duplicate away from a four-star crystal. So I'm going to go ahead and get these on the Autobot side because this three-star is going to be a guaranteed dupe, which is going to give us a four-star crystal. Very cool. We'll go ahead and get that. I'm pretty sure this is a two-star duplicate. That is fine. Okay, so which three-star duplicate are we going to get this time? Doesn't matter. It's a Sunstreaker. All right. And looky there, looky there. Four-star crystal, that's right. So we might get a four-star out of this yet. Or some five-star shards. Yes, Jeremy, absolutely. Four-star rust dust. Four-star rust dust. Thanks for the uh, best wishes, <laughs> and William, too. Yes, here we go. I don't know. I'm getting nervous. I'm getting nervous. Getting nervous there. Uh, I'm trying to do something and it's not working. There we go. All right, Shia. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Now. That's a duplicate. All that build up and it's a duplicate skydive. Hey, that's a lot of Superion spark there and some five star shards. Very cool. All right. Hey, there's a story scene for Trax there. He's like, mm-mm, you look great. Oh, wait, I know how to do his voice. His voice is kind of like, uh, you guys know Gilligan Island, like Thurston Howell III? Let me see if I can do that. I mean it, just fabulous. Those lines, those curves, I think I'm in love. It's not very good, but we'll go with it. Trax, step away from the mirror. Oh, this should be great. Come on, Sunstreaker, admit it. You're a little in love, too. It's okay. I'm bought enough to handle some unconditional, gender-neutral auto-admiration. Me Grimlock think tracks need more dense. <laughs> Me happy to oblige. Wow, he knows the word oblige. Uh, give points for Grimlock there. Back off, Grimlock. You wouldn't know Style if it headbutted you and said, Hi, I'm Style. Headbutt to say hello? Me not no style, but me like sound of him. <laughs> Seriously, Trax, are you just gonna stand there and admire your earth form or what? We didn't okay your 17th transfer request just to have you pose around auto base all day. Hey, I'm ready for the earth wars. But are they ready for me? <laughs> That's the first time I've seen him do a dance in the scene. I am smoking hot. Yes, baby. Just a little dent. Tiny one. For character. Listen, maybe I will go for a spin. All this attention, while lovely, is making me nervous. Time to show the world my classic chassis and top dollar tires. And there he goes. Hate to say I told you so, but I told you so. And I may have altered his sat nav settings so his route will take him right through Decepticon controlled territory. Isn't that a little vindictive, Little Jack? Nah, I'll fix him up. Good as new. When I can fit him in. Which might not be for oh a month or two. <laughs> oh very cool, very cool. All right, I can't help but get these resources, and I miss the taps all the time. All right, so I'm sure you guys may have already seen. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you, I did get another bundle, seeing if maybe I can pull that three-star Alita one. I didn't record it, but I did pull this guy. I was very surprised to see that guy come through one of those bundles. So, nothing super special, just a little cliff jumper. But, uh, hey, there's tracks. I uh, got the three star. Got the smoke bomb. All right, and then of course you got the two star down here. And there you go. There's all of his stats. So yeah, let's take a look at the bio. 
Uh, let's see. Yeah, you know, I think that's that's what we saw on the uh, the news feed already. So I, that's basically what they're giving us is the bio that they put in the uh, the bot. So very cool, very cool. All right, Grimlock wants to fight him. Love it. Yes, yes, that is very cool. Very, uh, <laughs> I do like that. Um, all right, so uh, since, since my tracks is, are both one stars, I did ask the Alliance to show us some uh, replays. We got a few of them. Let's let's scroll back here and try to get who we got there. Uh, there's Blitzwing saying making tracks, referencing one of the episodes from G1. Maybe, maybe not, but it, it is a reference whether he intended it or not. So what do we got here going on? All right, so we've got Rodimus Prime, Storm Clash, Naw, Alita One. Blaster. Oh, he's got a three-star too. And then there's Skylinks. Let's get these power cores out of the way. They're taking a nice slow walk. Russian Alita One in there doing heavy damage, even as a two-star. Storm Clash coming in and helping out. Well, this would be a good time to throw that uh, smoke bomb on Alita One, actually, from uh, tracks. Oh, that should probably be a better time. Because when you're using the ability, you want to put it on the bots. Yeah, because that because basically when the, they're inside the smoke, they take the the damage is reduced 80 percent, so they're only taking like 20 percent damage. <clears throat> I've seen some people already just kind of put trying to put the smoke bomb on defenses, and that's not how you do it. You got to put the smoke bomb right on the bots. He's got the uh, yeah, and he's got the little black beam gun, and so whatever he's targeting with his gun also has reduced damage as well, I believe. So yeah, we got Gnaw and Skylinks at the headquarters already. Looks like they're going to do a pretty good job there. Storm Clash going over there to help out, and they got it done. Nice work there, Blitzwing. Oh yeah, good comments. Here's a joke. What do Insecticons do in their spare time? Kick back and relax. Yeah, those are some good videos. Uh, I think it was Skypoke actually shared those in our Alliance band, and uh, I hadn't seen those before. So I was cracking, cracking up. Um, Matthias, I didn't catch your last name, but thank you for subscribing, buddy. Let's see, where are we again? Okay, Laser Optimus, uh, new, new uh, friend, friend from the band, uh, joined our Alliance. Uh, and here he's saying, this is why you do not group your base. This ought to be a good one. Brandon Coleman, too. Thank you for subscribing. I was a little quicker on that one. Maybe I need to leave that notification up a little bit longer. <laughs> All right, so he's taking in his uh, four-star uh, Storm Clash along with Alita One and Sideswipe Optimus Prime Jazz. Laser Optimus, of course, because that's his namesake, and a four-star Perceptor. Oh, looks like he's hacked that Shock Tower. Very good. That is why you do not group your bases, especially around a Shock Tower, because Perceptor will come in there, hack that Shock Tower, and then just clear out everything. Excellent use of Perceptor's hack ability. Oh, and then Alita One just flies in there, has hardly any trouble. Uh, Sideswipe's over there on the Shock Tower now. The the two Optimi are over there taking care of some resources, although I think we might be losing our, the big guy. Oh, yes, we did. Now Minx Master's on the other one, but that's okay. Alita One is by herself over at the headquarters, and Sideswipe's over there to help out, I think, this is well in hand. Oh, we got an Orbital Strike coming from Jazz. Boom. Excellent work there, Laser Optimus. Oh, Mind Wipe's got Storm Clash hacked. Doesn't matter. Because this headquarters is going down. Boom! Is Cosmos better than Perceptor? You know, that's a good question. I would say... Hmm... Probably, because it does tend to last a little bit longer, his ability. And you can hack bots, e even uh, um, even when you're attacking, you can hack the outpost bots. I did it uh, once. I didn't know you could do that, but you can hack outpost bots if you can actually get them nearby there. 
um, kind of like the Leech Maximo. You can hack them with uh, Mind Wipe or uh, Cosmos, of course. You can, but you, you do have to get them close to the, the uh, defense that you want to hack, like a Shock Tower. And it does cause damage, so it, it, it may not last as long as Perceptor's ability. But here's the thing about Cosmos. When he's got his ability active, he's flying in the air. And what that means is, except for basically like laser turrets, nothing's targeting him. So that, I think, is actually a, a good thing about Cosmos and Mind Wipe that a lot of people probably don't consider. Um, so let's go through a few more uh, replays here. And let's see. Oh, Laser Optimus has one with uh, tracks. See, Jeremy's saying the guy he's got hot spot, RC, Alva, Bravo, all at three star. Those are all, uh, they're pretty good bots. I would say uh, hot spot and Alpha Bravo are excellent bots. RC, uh, the the ability has its uses, but it's very few and far between. Uh, but she is very strong. She has a lot of health. Uh, so if you get her leveled up, you'll find that she's one of the ones who doesn't la who who uh, doesn't die very often. Uh, speaking of RC, she's in here with uh, tracks and a whole bunch of other bots. Oh, excuse me. With the headquarters, which is kind of nearby. Oh yeah, see, he's got, he's got the uh, smoke bomb there, and it was protecting all those bots. Did you see how their health was very high still, even after getting pounded by all those defenses? And with the, the initial cost of that smoke bomb being only like two ability points, there's almost no reason to not use it. At least once. So very cool. Let's see. Let's get uh let's say, okay, Skyjet's got one. Greyhound Mills, I think I got that. It says Trax is fun to use with Star Saber. Oh yeah, I bet you rush Star Saber into a area, then drop the smoke bomb on him. That that's a that's a good combination right there. Oh look at his lug nut. Yeah, Skyjet actually uh, uh, got lucky with the bundle and got himself a four star lug nut on his uh, Decepticon factions. And uh, so yeah, just, just kind of like the, the uh, just like Elite One. And I do love Lugnut. Lugnut is a great character. And I think they did a good job with his uh, design here, too. But uh, he's, he's got uh, Motormaster. He's got like all the, all the Stunticons and Lugnut, actually. Let's just go ahead and say that. All the Stunticons and Lugnut. And they took it out. Cool, cool, cool. Grand Galvatron never cared much for Lugnut. <laughs> you must be a Lockdown fan then. Because, <laughs> you know, L Lugnut and Lockdown uh, d just uh, didn't really like each other. Because, you know, Lockdown was not very loyal to Megatron. And um, Lugnut was, like, super loyal to Megatron. Probably more loyal than Soundwave, even. Um... Let's see, here's one uh, from Hayato. Let's see, we've got Sideswipe, Firefly, Alpha Bravo, Sunstreaker, Jumpstream, Ironhide, and Trax! There he goes, dropping the smoke bomb, so any bots that get in there are going to be well protected. Kind of like Jumpstream who just ran in there. And she's got the defensive shield too. And uh, who's that over there? Sideswipe's over there. Okay, send Firefly over there to take out that missile launcher. Oh, didn't quite get it. Got a sliver of life left. This is where a smoke screen would actually come come into handy. Speaking of which, why didn't they give this smoke bomb thing the smoke screen? That makes more sense. Eh, they probably weren't thinking about it at the time. But yeah, I bet if they could retcon that, they'd uh, give this smoke bomb to smoke screen. So that's like total. That, that's like his signature move in the cartoon. Alright, 
I was just checking out the chat there. So, yeah, we got we got this uh, win in hand. Well done, well done. Yes, Grand Galvatron, exactly. The dead, the teleport that dead end's got uh, that that would have been a good one for Skywarp. Absolutely, absolutely. Oop, wrong one. And Skypoke's got one here. Go, 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 tracks. Yeah, that would have been good to have on Skywarp too, because you know, like Skywarp solos. Because you know, like when you when you uh, beat a base solo with Cup, and you say we cupped it. There's really no uh, uh, comparison for the Decepticons. You can't say I dead ended it. But if it was on Skywarp, you could have said I warped it. You know. So that. that but the, yeah, we re really missed an opportunity. Oh yeah, look at that. Star Saber protected by the smoke. You see that? He's got lots of health still left. With that laser and the cannon and Megatron and the mortar and everything on him, he would be dead by now if not for that smoke bomb. Absolutely perfect use of that smoke bomb. Gave plenty of time for Wheeljack to get over there to get him some healing. He's losing it pretty quick here, though, now that that smoke bomb's gone. Even with Wheeljack healing him, it looks like he's down for the count. But the rest of the teams took care of the uh, stuff, the... the the, the, the bad defenses. Cup got out of there just in time. He's out of range of that laser turret. And he is going to take out that headquarters. Look at Perceptor coming around to help take out Megatron. <laughs> and Trax, yeah. Nice. Well done. Oh, we got Drift over there helping out. Excellent, Skypoke. Thank you for sharing, buddy. Alright, so you guys were asking how my elite is doing okay let's go let's go check her out there she is you can see her she's already above the fold got her at level 44 and level 6 ability I you know I knew her ability is good so I went ahead and spent the spark and had the energy on and got her ability up to level six i plan to get it up a little bit higher right now she deals 1289 damage to everything nearby and of course disables them for six seconds if she doesn't destroy it um, and i didn't have a whole lot of good power cores to put on her but i did put it rejuvenate and haven't had a chance to level it up just yet um but but yeah so that's that's where that's where she's got so let's go ahead and get her into battle and uh, let's see. There we are. I hear you, Skylinks. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and send her in with Star Saber. We'll go ahead and uh, get, you know, we'll keep Cliff Jumper on there. We'll get, let him get some uh, XP. And um, let's try Zone Eleven. I think we can do Zone Eleven. I'm almost positive we can do zone 10 because I think Star Saber can almost do zone 10 by himself. Oh, and this is like the absolute perfect base for this combo here. This is just like... The <laughs> uh, okay, well she can't take out everything here, but you know, Star Saber could get a lot of this. Uh, so we'll go ahead and... I think we'll come in from the right hand side because they got a sneaky little outpost there on the left hand side which would pop if we go in that side. Uh, so we'll drop over now, here, reap the whirlwind. and we'll fly Alita. Let's, let's wait till she gets in range of that shock tower. I'm gonna drop her right in the middle. Yeah, and Alita and Star Saber basically have the same range too. Oh, guys, you're going the wrong way. Okay, that'll work. And we'll send Star Saber in at the same time. And that should take out that front side of the base. And we'll go ahead and send uh, Star Saber over that way. And we'll drop Alita 1 on breakdown here. <laughs> and Scourge did a pretty good number on her. Would have been nice to have tracks. Oh, I could have had tracks. We'll go ahead and speed this up. Meanwhile, Cliff Jumper's all over here. You do your thing, Cliff Jumper. 
You do your thing, buddy. We'll take care of the hard work. <laughs> uh, so yeah, there we go. Star Saber and Alita, excellent team. Of course, like I said, we got like the perfect base for those two. All right, so uh, what else we got going on in the chat? Uh, let's see. This is Unicorn. The Earth will soon be part of me. The autocorrect get you there. I'm trying to say Unicron. Who would win, Predaking or Menasaur? Mm, I, I, I got to give that one to Predaking. Menasaur is pretty tough, but I got to give that to Predaking. Uh, Razorquake's asking, is this team good? Bumblebee, Optimus, Alita One, RC, Ultra Magnus, Hot Rod, and Pyramagna. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good team. Uh, you get, you, Lita's probably the only one who can fly out anywhere. Um, well, I guess Optimus will rush the whole team. So, yeah, that's a, that's, that's a pretty decent team there. Let's see. Uh, Leadpipe saying, need another gunner and healer. Um, yeah, I, I would probably go along with that too. And, man, I'm still looking for a four-star healer. I'm seeing everybody with all these four-star healers going around, and I am so jealous. I do not have one. I've just got them all in the three stars. Mm. If I'm going to chase any bot after this, that that's what I'm chasing is four star healers. So, oh, Galvatron said it in Headmaster. He, he said unicorn. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I I think I know what you're talking about. I, I never saw Headmasters, but that is is that where he like was kind of like the unicron planet but just like with the galvatron head and arms that looked absolutely ridiculous yeah that's pretty funny uh any word on omega supreme release oh no it's it's purely speculation at this point razor quick you don't even have a two-star healer wow hey jar barbara good to see you Yes, oh, yes, of course, Grand Goblin. It's kind of small, but now that you mentioned it, I look in there, and yes, that's exactly the uh, picture that I was just uh, talking about. Galvatron, basically a Unicron with the Galvatron head and arms and feet hanging off of it. Uh, yeah, pretty funny. All right, so we got a few more replays here. Let's see, uh, Red Alert jumping in with the replay. We hadn't seen one from him before. At least not in this stream. Excuse me. Okay, yeah, we got. Oh, we got Grimlock. We got Blaster, Star Saber, Firefly, Hot Rod, Slug, and Tracks. Now there goes Grimlock taking out that mortar. We're working on getting some ability points over here right now. Oh, oh, that flash. I was gonna say a snarl around. No, but hunger is. Oh, he rushed uh, Star Saber in. Oh, and he. Put, drop the smoke bomb to help him out from tracks. Excellent move. I, I, I see this happening a lot. And I think people who are questioning the use of tracks' ability, once they figure this out, they will change their minds in a hurry. I, I think the, a lot of the people who were saying they don't understand his ability probably were using it wrong. But yeah, that was an excellent use. I mean, you saw Star Saber rushed in the middle of that, and look at that. He, he lost almost no health because of the. Uh, tracks smoke bomb and then actually meanwhile you got the Dinobots chomping on the headquarters good job dinos good job excellent job there Dinobots okay so let's see uh, laser optimus uh, proving again why not to group your bases I think we did that with the uh, Alita one and the uh, star saber attack too didn't we yeah, I'm, it's funny though because I'm here preaching don't group your bases, don't group your bases, but you know, at the same time, I love finding group bases because they're so fun, they're so easy. Alright, hey, I think we just saw this team. It must be uh, got, got uh, some uh, coin and some cooldowns. Yeah, that or he's going back through his archives. 
Yeah, that's probably a good move, rushing everybody over there. Maybe try to sidestep those uh, outposts. Oh, there goes Alita 1 right in the middle. Jazz coming in to help clear that out. Oh, nice move there. Yes, that, that opens up a huge hole when you got a big area of effect damage bots like Alita 1 or Jazz. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's so beautiful. I love all the teams that I have Jazz on when I can do that. Oh, it's fun uh, using... I I've uh, got Air Raid running with a, low, uh, lo a team of two stars, and uh, I I like chaining the fusion bombs. Where that That's where you go and you put one, two, three of them in, in a row. And I took out almost an entire base one time. I dropped three fusion bombs near nearby, and uh, <laughs> it took it out pretty pretty good. I wonder if I can go find that. I think that was earlier today. Let me see if I can search back through my uh, archives. My battle history. Uh, this one, this one might be it. Uh, Nagamata Satu. I don't know what the first part of that was. Thank you for the subscription. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the channel. Good to see everybody uh, joining in. Oh yes, this was it. Okay, check this out. First, I go and lay the bombs with air raid. I'm gonna go lay it right there on this cannon. Remember, you got 20 seconds to get these things done. And I, I've already checked out. Sci uh, skydive can take out this laser so I'm taking some damage but there goes the second bomb okay now skydives going in there dropping his acid drop the third bomb check this out this this I loved seeing this when it finally sets off oh that was great that's another re <laughs> yet another example of why you don't grip your bases that's the first time I pulled off three in a row so uh, yeah <laughs> But yeah, I did did lose a few bots while I was uh, setting it up. If I, if, I, if I had it to do again, I'd have just dropped uh, Air Raid first, and then dropped Skydive, let that take care of it, and then dropped everybody else. It's still a win, though. Still a win. and I, <laughs> I do wish uh, Air Raid probably would be more useful for higher level uh, zones, but that was probably a Zone 9 or Zone 10 attack with a bunch of 2 stars or whatever. But it's still fun to do. It's still very, very fun to do. Okay, so do we, I think we got some, a few more replays in here. Uh, let's see. Skyjet had another one. It was a close one. This was a close one. Let's see, oh, Grand Galvatron likes the uh, subscription, the Prime giving the thumbs up. Yeah. Well, you, not that I'm asking anybody to do it, but if anybody throws a super chat in there of more than a dollar, you get to see Jazz dancing. Like I said, you don't have to do that, but that's what I that's what I got in there for uh, for that. Okay, so we got Optimus, Grimlock, Blaster, Pyromagna, Laser Optimus. Ooh, four star Alita for Skyjet too. Congrats, buddy. Uh, four star RC. Yeah, man, you get that Alita one leveled up, and she would level this base by herself. But you did a pretty good number on those right there. I bet right, right now he's just like uh, waiting and hoping Prime gets in the range of that uh, headquarters so he can rush over there. Might need another ability or two. Yeah, pretty strong team. They're taking this out pretty good. Oh, he's got Alita 1. He was waiting for Alita 1 to get over there. Oh, Alita's got this because there's nothing hitting on her. No, Prime is down. No. But we've still got the uh, second Optimus still going. And he's on that mortar. The mortar's not hitting him, but that shock tower is. Oh, and Tantrum might... Oh, Tantrum's going for Blaster. I think that shock tower's going to get Laser Optimus. Oh, he's gone. And uh, Tantrum's probably going to get Blaster, too, because Blaster is pretty low. Got an epic battle between a tape deck and a bull. <laughs> Only a Transformers can you say that. <laughs> then a fire truck comes over to help out. Oh, look at that. Blaster made it. What a beast. Meanwhile, let's see how Alita 1's doing. Yeah, she's doing a pretty good job. Oh, Blaster. This Blaster was done in by the shock tower. 
go ahead and fast forward this. Looks like we should be getting it. Now we don't see the timer, but uh, I'm guessing he was down to just a few seconds there. Probably sweating it. <laughs> We got some good uh, uh, comments going on here. Let's see. Cameron Moore is asking, would they make a Seeker combiner? Well, you know they kind of are. And I think somebody was saying, Grand Galvatron saying, Starscream is used in a combiner. You know, the interesting thing is you can almost make a Starscream combiner uh, from Combiner Wars because, or, you know, that style, because Power of the Primes gave a Starscream as the torso. Um, and not in the main lines, but if you got the Japanese, uh, the Takara versions of, what was it, uh, Galvatronus, I think it was. You got it. There, they had, came with a ghost Starscream so as a limb, so you could have a Starscream with a Starscream. And if you happen to be in the Transformers Collector Club, in the mo last subscription service, the bonus figure was a Shattered Glass Starscream, which I actually have. Let me see if I can reach him. Go ahead and throw that out there. So we got a shattered glass star scream here. Was one of the uh, subscription service the subscription service bonus figure? I think it was uh, subscription service five. Uh, so that's that's two star scream uh, limbs to go with a star scream torso. <laughs> so just maybe get another couple of them, or maybe uh, oh I don't know. Oh, yeah, and they're coming out with a Go Golden Lagoon Starscream based on basically this mold. It's got this head. Uh, so so there's there's uh, four Starscreams that you could have a combiner. All you got to do is find one more or um, fi find some other bot and repaint them or whatever, and you could have a Starscream combiner. Uh, so, <laughs> so that would be crazy. Uh, John Shepard, yes, I did open the crystals already. Uh, I... I got a two star and a three star, so that that was uh, pretty lucky. Uh, still have yet to get a four star out of one of these events, and if this is only the second time that I managed to get a three star out of the event crystals. So I'm actually pretty happy about that. Um, so how awesome would a 100 star Optimus be? <laughs> Um, he would base you would basically just drop a 100 star Optimus, and then the base would be done. I mean, I mean a 100 star Optimus is basically Metroplex, which is why we basically just got the base in the Metroplex colors. Because, I mean, if you think about it, I, it, did you ever play the Fall of Cybertron game? You know the part where you got Optimus Prime going through and controlling Metroplex, and every so often he can just call and Metroplex would rain down a whole bunch of stuff. Then he, I'm sorry if you didn't play it. This is spoilers. Uh, but then he gets to the final battle and he's got Megatron. Well, one last time he, he calls uh, Metroplex, and all you see is a huge fist. I mean, the whole screen is basically nothing but the fist coming down on Megatron, smashing him. That is what a 100-star Optimus Prime would be. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Uh, and, and that's also why there's really no place for a Metroplex or a Triptychon or a Fortress Maximus in this game right now because it would basically be a fist on the base. I mean... <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> DC Native, hey, thanks, man. Thanks for all the help, buddy. We were... Uh, uh, showing off the scores and, and thanking everybody uh, earlier on. So thanks for joining the stream, too. Good to see you. Uh, let's see. Razor Quake says, You pulled pipes out of a free crystal. Is he rare? Eh, he's not that rare. But the fact that you got a new bot out of a free crystal, I'd say, is pretty rare. Uh, I can't tell you the last time... Well, I can tell you the last time I got a bot out of a free crystal uh, on, on my uh, free-to-play that, that I didn't have already. Uh, it was actually during the Gnaw event. It was amazing because I opened a Gnaw crystal, pulled a three-star Gnaw on that free-to-play account. That opened a free crystal, got a three-star Silver Bolt. So it was amazing that, like, two three-stars right in a row. And I've got nothing since out of free, star, free crystals. And meanwhile, on my main account, still nothing but a two-star Gnaw. So that's crazy. <laughs> anyway... Uh, let's see. Jerry Barber, you got the two and the three star tracks. Very cool. In Cosmos, Drag Strip, and Snarl. Nice. By the way, I am loving, loving Snarl. 
with his with his uh, new range. Uh, let's see. Excuse me. I think I showed him off once before, but it's worth doing again. Oh, we got Star Saber cooling down here. I think I got my. I think I got a three star snarl somewhere. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, and it's it's good too because I still need to level up that laser optimus. Let's go ahead and take these guys. They they can they can hit zone twelve. Usually, uh, sometimes I lose with some of these teams in zone twelve. Depends which uh, base I pull. Whether I get one on the lower, the middle end, or whether I get something super high. Considering these walls are low, I am worried. Because I mean, look at these walls. They're they're like level three, level three. Level six. Somebody was listening to my advice, I think, and keeping their walls low because we got look at look at we got some serious defenses here. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, but yeah, you got some strong cannons here. Look at this, very strong cannons. So so that this is what I've been saying all along. If you keep your walls low, you can uh, have people when they come into your base, your defenses will be stronger. So I'm a little worried about this battle. Okay, I got to think this one out. Because this is not my strongest team. Most of these guys are three stars. Okay. I think if we start off with strafe. Knock down these cannons a little bit. Because it should just be targeting just those three cannons. Got a couple of laser turrets there. It's going to do some damage to them. We got the reflective shield on them. Yeah, this is my three-star strafe. But he's still doing a pretty good number on those cannons. Yeah, and he's already lost half his health, so I'm pretty much sacrificing Strafe here. That may have been a mistake. Let's see, Magnus, can you get that mortar? Let's see, Storm Clash up can get that laser up there, even though it's not really a threat right now. Let's uh, jump cup up there. It's kind of hard to mirror. Oh, we lost the skylinks. That cannon's hurting me. Oh, I should have hit those cannons because Cup's actually at the headquarters. But, uh, yeah, they, they took him down. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get this one. Yeah, we're down to just Skyburst, and we got Bludgeon coming over there. He's probably a high level, too. Didn't even get to show off Snarl because I was too worried about everything else. Yeah, it happens. Yeah, I knew I, I knew I was done for with that one. <laughs> Once I saw those low walls, I was like, "Oh, this one's I'm toast." All right, let's go in here. Roll out. I got coins. I'm going to go ahead and skip Scar Star Saber. Let's take these guys in. These guys could actually, they just crossed over the, the uh, threshold to be able to be recommended for Zone 13. But since they're just barely in Zone 13, I'm not taking them. I haven't even unlocked the scanner for 13. Um, because I didn't have any bots ready to go to 13, I didn't want to add any more available HP for uh, people to try to uh, um, get. Or put me in a higher zone. Although at this point, I'm pretty sure I'm in zone 14, so I don't think it matters at this point. Because if you've seen the teams that come come in, it's multiple five stars. <laughs> so, all right. So what are we gonna do here? What are we gonna do here? Okay, that mortar's down, so that is good news. And yeah, we should be doing just fine. Ooh, level 10. So, yeah, see that this is a this is a much more doable base. That that last team could have taken this base. Uh, because again, look at the walls. Very high walls, 
defenses are not as strong. This is why I say, don't level up your walls too high until you've got your defenses leveled up. Because that's going to be the difference between getting this base, which the walls make it look intimidating, but, but, the, but the defenses are much weaker than the last one. Anyway, enough preaching. I'll get off my soapbox for now. And let's see. Where do I want to go with this? We can go Sun this side. Sticker. Oh, and Sunstreaker. He's my first bot over 50, 50. He is level 51 right now. So he's probably going to be able to take out that mortar and that laser. Although not, not as quick as I'd like to. Let's see. We'll send Star Saber right across everything over there. And where's Snarl? Oh, he's over here. Yeah, that's the problem. He doesn't he doesn't rush through the walls though. So I can target this uh whatchamacallit. Oh look at that, he's running around it. I didn't realize he did that. Very cool. Check that out. <laughs> oh and he hit that laser. Very, very awesome. All right, let's get Star Saber out of this uh, little wall thing there. There you go, nice. And let's get Snarl back over, over here onto the headquarters. Oh, he died just as I activated. That's terrible. That's absolutely horrible. Oh, the Star Saber's down too. Oh, that's okay. It's still going to be a win. Still a pretty decisive win. What's Strafe doing over there? Look at Primal coming in for the big finish. Yeah, you pound your chest, big guy. You deserve it after that. <laughs> I don't know even know how many zeros you just put there, Jeremy. What is that, a level 1 billion Optimus? What would, what would power links and crash combiners be like in the game? Uh, yeah, I don't I, I don't see those coming in the game, so I, I'm probably not even going to spe speculate because basically, uh, you're talking about basically power cores and combiners, you know. So uh, I know what you're talking about, the, like the crash combiners. You crash it together and they link together. I think Robots in the Skies line is doing that. And Power Link, I think, is like the smaller bots actually going on to the almost like a Power Master. So we've already kind of got that with the Power Cores and the uh, and just regular old combiners. So how do I do it? Feel about that four star laser Optimus? Well, you know, honestly, I haven't been using him a whole lot. I've just kind of been leveling him up, and uh, I, I haven't used him enough to really get a good feel for him. He's not even quite a 40 yet. I mean, clearly I love Alita <laughs> and I uh, leveled her way faster than that Laser Optimus. Um, I've never really been super um, impressed with Laser Optimus. Um, you know, but because uh, you know that, that ability that he has, um, he kind of just transforms and stays put, and then he starts shooting out things, and then things start just... Uh, it, if he's got other people nearby, and then also with his ability, things start getting destroyed, and now it's all kind of you know farther away, and he's kind of missing things with the bounces, and the bounces are very unpredictable. Half the times you might hit something, and it's just going to bounce along wall, 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 wall. So it, it's things like that that are kind of unpredictable i'm not a big fan of uh so but but i mean he has a four star tank so he's 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 strong but uh, i don't i would be surprised if anybody's got him on their a team um i can see he might be pretty good for an outpost uh although i, I know he did have a problem with his ability not really working an outpost i was on the uh, bet the uh the, I was a beneficiary, actually, of that once because I, I had somebody pop him in an outpost. He just kind of sat there. 
in truck mode as I killed him. <laughs> and and, and never, his ability never got to me, so I don't know if they got that issue fixed or not. Um, but I would think that would be a pretty devastating ability in an outpost uh, if it was working right. Um, but then again, he is just sitting there and the bots can still attack him. Unlike Cosmos, where Cosmos is up in the air, bot, or Mind Wipe even, uh, the other bots aren't going to be able to attack them while they've got that in there. That's why those guys are so devastating, um, at least for one bot. And, and because, because they turn the one bot against them and then they uh, slows them down, especially if they're in kind of like a kill zone with a bunch of shock towers and a bunch of cannons and mortars and stuff going at you um so um but yeah i'm not, i i what I wasn't ever going i i think i bought one bundle of laser optimus and got the three star but uh i was i never had any plans of chasing him he, he just happened to pop out of a four star crystal uh and you know no bot goes to waste uh i know there's a lot of people uh, who basically say, I don't use three stars, I don't use two stars, and then all their twos and threes are still basically down at level one, and that that that's great. And, and for, for those people who are definitely war-focused, that's actually the right strategy to do. You definitely want to have like one or two really, 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 really super strong teams, and you don't want to waste the fuel cells or the energon or the spark leveling up any of your other teams. That's really not my focus. My focus is just enjoying all of the bots, which is why if you look through from top to bottom, all of my four stars, with the exception of the new ones, uh, Laser Optimus, even though he's way up there, he's still at 38, and uh, Cliff Jumper, who's the baby at 21, all of my four stars right now are 40 or higher. Uh, I've still got a handful of them waiting at 40. Actually, let's go in the research lab. That'll be a better uh, indication of just how backed up I am. Okay, so Jumpstream's sitting there waiting to go. She's at 50. So we're, we're waiting to take her as my second bot past 50. Sunstreaker's already at 51. Um, so, so we are there. So, yeah, we got Huffer, Smokescreen, Perceptor, and Silverbolt all waiting at 40. Uh, three star Optimus Prime and Grimlocker at 50, waiting for some research. And then here's all my three stars. Firefly's actually also at 50. And the rest of these bots are well over 40. And these ones needing research down here, they're all at 40. So you can see, like, all of my three stars, except Warpath, I'm still working on. He's at, uh, oh, I missed the little thing up there. He's at 37. I'm not working real hard on him. Um, and then, of course, Trax, who we just got. But everybody else is at 40 or higher. And all of my two stars are 30 or higher. I haven't maxed anybody out yet, because I don't use the two stars that much. I only started using two stars recently when I unlocked that 10th squad, or they gave us the 10th squad. Um, there, but so, so there's all my two stars. And Blaster, he's actually at 30. He's my most recent two star. Or actually, no, I've got, uh, well, Trax is the most recent one, but I, I forgot. I got Rust Dust and Windblade, who are both at uh, 10. So I, I will get them leveled up to... Uh, so, and of course, all the one stars are maxed. And Decepticons, I'm kind of doing the same thing over there, too. Because um, I, I, I spend my three stars mostly on uh, the Decepticon side because I do get uh, a fair amount of... In fact, that's where most of these three stars have come from, from the Decepticon side. I don't have any four stars because I haven't had good luck out of the Decepticon premium crystals. And I'm not going to spend a four star crystal on a Decepticon on the Decepticon side. I'd much rather get a duplicate four star Autobot with some five star shards than a four star Decepticon. Three star, And I can see some people can say the same thing about four star shards. Uh, getting a duplicate three star, kind of like what I did earlier when I got that three star crystal. Um, getting the four star shards gave me the four star crystal. Um, but you, you, there's plenty of other opportunities to get four star shards, uh, not as many to get five star shards. Uh, so, so yeah, so that's where a lot of these three stars have come from. I may have got one or two bundles early on when they released factions, and then of course the VIP Decepticon premiums uh, helped fill this out too. Uh, but I've got a f quite a few of them, and uh, let's see, Deathsaurus, Dead End, Swindle, and Long Haul are above 40. Uh, Galvatron is getting close, Hunger's actually getting real close, and the rest of these guys are at 40 down to Brawl. And see, look at Bra Black Arachnia. She is at 31, and she is higher than Brawl at 40, and they have the same ability. Okay, let now let's look at the power core. He's got a level 1 power core, and she has... Oh, it was on that screen too. She's got a level one power core too. So, 
this is how much they buffed Black Arachnia and Cheetor because, I mean, level 31 higher than a level 40 gunner. That is crazy. And then starting at our Armada Megatron, that's uh, at bots at level 30 uh, waiting to go past level 30. I think Hook and Drag Strip, I think, are above 30 as well. And there's Astro Train Straxis, Raw Off Road Soundwave. Soundwave's been sitting at 30 for a very long time. Um, got, I'm working on, I've been working on Reflector a little bit. He's fairly new in, yeah, so, so these these guys, uh, Slipstream, <laughs> haven't worked on her very much. And Scavenger's fairly recent, he's at 20. Mindwipe is uh, just like a week or two old, he's at 20. And I actually just pulled uh, Motormaster just the other day, I had another three star crystal. I used it on Decepticon side and pulled Motormaster. Can you believe that? Motormaster <laughs> out of a... Uh, out of the three star crystal on, on, on my Autobot account. And, and here's the crazy thing about that, pulling Motormaster. I'm sorry if I'm, I'm uh, not really looking at the chat there, but let, let's go in here and look at the collections, okay? So, Constructicons. Okay, keep in mind, I don't have any four stars. Don't I don't have Devastator yet, I'm missing Mixmaster, all right? Combaticons. If you could add the opposite faction combiner, I got Bruticus. Predacons, farther away. No dive bomb, no razor claw. That's okay. I don't have dive bomb on the on my Decepticon account either. Stunticons, with that addition of Motormaster, I got Menasaur on this account too. Now most of these guys came into the game pretty much after I quit playing the Decepticon side, so I don't have nearly as many of these guys on my Decepticon side. I just have, who is it? Uh, Breakdown, who I, I've got at three and four on that account. Uh, four Star Crystal got lucky, I think. And Breakneck, I got, was it was actually one of the times that I actually did pull a Four Star from an event crystal. I actually pulled a Four Star Breakneck from that Smokescreen Breakneck event. But that's it. I got no other Stunticons at three or four on, the, on my uh, the Decepticon account, but yet I've got three star Menasaur on this side. So that's kind of crazy. But you can't make them, and I understand why, and that's fine because honestly, I, I don't know, I might use them. But you know, I've been le I've been leveling, honestly, with my Deathsaurus. I got very lucky, got him one of the very first three star Decepticons. And uh, that's basically my Decepticon leveling team. I take these guys into Zone 7 and uh, level them up fairly quick. Because Deathsaurus levels on 7 by himself with no trouble at all. Probably ought to try Zone 8. He might actually be able to pull that off too. But it's nice because, because you got to be careful too. Because when you go up zones, you start getting more experienced players. And you start getting better designed bases. In Zone 7, there's a lot of really grouped things. So it's like zip, zip, and it's gone. So. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Why do I not continue upgrading the three stars? Honestly, because there's just not enough lab time to go around. I would, I, I would like to upgrade them. It's just I, I, I get other bots that I like better than what those are. Like, the, like, why am I gonna put one of those three stars in the lab when I get a lead of one at four star? And so you know, but now that I, now that I got her taken care of, and it's gonna be a little while probably till I get her to fifty. Um, but also right now. I got Jumpstream in there waiting at 50. She's probably going to be the next one going in the lab, and that takes six days to go through 50. In fact, Sunstreaker, I had to coin him to get him out early to level Alita. Uh, he still had like a day and a half left. Um, so, I, But I coined him, got him out, and got le Alita leveled. Let's see. What if you have all the four stars and don't go for the opposite side? If you have all the four stars... Then you're guaranteed four star duplicates, which means you're gonna get five star shards, which means you're gonna get five star bots quicker. And uh, Razorquake says he finally saw the G1 movie and loved it. Yes, and you got to see the first death of Optimus Prime. Spoiler alert to anybody else who somehow may have been living under a rock for 36 years and haven't seen, uh, or what is it, 32 years, I guess. Let's see. Is is Unicron? You had to have been typing that intentionally weird, right, Cameron? 
<laughs> are, the, are you saying, is Unicron coming as an avatar? Uh, yeah, no. Because the avatars are basically just bots that you can get. Except for VIP, so you never know. Well, or special avatars. I, I suppose. Okay, I'm just going to backtrack right there and say, you never know, he might. Uh, I haven't heard of anything from it because, I mean, you do have the Quintessons. Uh, that, that we got, and there's one more which I didn't end up completing that event to get, um, and uh, that that anybody could have, which they're not bots in the game, but they are special. And then of course you do have uh, some VIP exclusive uh, avatars. I'm gonna keep it on Alita right now because I'm still uh, loving my luck with Alita. And plus everybody else has tracks right now. I think <laughs> it's funny. You can always tell when people get when the new bot comes around. Everybody changes their avatar. Uh, so yeah, there's one, there's not too many, there's two, three, <laughs> four, five, <laughs> everybody goes, but hey, that's cool, man. You get a new bot, you go celebrate it by sitting it as your avatar. That's cool. I am not being critical at all. Uh, I'm just saying I like to be a little different. Kind of like uh, I was rocking Volcanicus for a little while, and I noticed uh, somebody else started using Volcanicus. I'm like, oh, I gotta go do something else. And then uh, I was rocking that Grimlock for a little while, and now other people are used rocking that Grimlock. So uh, it's okay. It kind of depends on my mood. And of course, you know, I had Snarl going for a little while, and got that Snarl. Then I've been doing the Rust Dust, and that that whole Avatar thing is just it was a, it was a joke. It, there's no it doesn't help at all. Uh, like Alita, I put that on after I uh, got to, uh, after I after I got Alita. I think I had Grimlock still on there. Alright, so next week a leaderboard? Uh, no, I think next week's going to be a, uh, an individual event, probably another Prime Core event, uh, because you know we've had Alliance events these last two weeks. Uh, my guess is, pro my, it's a guess, but my guess is it's Prime Core time. Uh, pro probably the same 10,000 or, or 10 points per battle. It, it's a guess, 10 points per battle, like Prime Core event like we've had the last few times. That's my guess. Uh, let's see. Kremzeeks. Yeah, Kremzeeks were cool. I saw some of you guys using Kremzeeks in some of those uh, replays um, o during the course of the event and stuff like that. So, I, do, well, I do watch you guys' replays. Uh, so I saw uh, you doing some, or even I think last week we were doing some uh, replays and we had Kremzeeks going. So, yeah. Let's see. Inferno be a leaderboard? I haven't heard of Inferno coming, but there's a pretty good chance considering we got a Power of the Primes toy coming out. Um. Yeah, he might be a leaderboard. Uh, I, I, I definitely, I'm pr definitely sure that the next bots coming out are going to be, be a leaderboard because this one was a prestige, and I think even the one before that was a prestige. I think, uh, what was it, Warpath and Skull Smasher was a prestige. Uh, we basically skipped a leaderboard event, I think, because of the Victorian and Menasaur. I think is kind. Of, I think that's where the leaderboard would have fallen. Um, but yeah, I think next bot's definitely going to be a leaderboard. Uh, let's see. Would Lugnut be loyal to Galvatron? That'd be that's an interesting question. Would he? Uh, kind of depends on whether Galvatron says that. Hey, you know, I'm Megatron with the new skin and a new name and all that stuff and a new personality and all that stuff. But really, I'm Megatron. Um, maybe. If he was there when Megatron changed into Galvatron, I would say yes. If it was just Galvatron show up saying, "Hey, I'm Megatron," then yeah, probably not. Um. Kind of like in, if you read the comics, the IDW comics, again, spoiler alert if you haven't, uh, Tarn, he was like the one of the biggest Megatron fanboys, you know, he, he uh, you know, basically read all of Megatron's writings and it did everything that Megatron did. He was like the number one Decepticon, led the just, Decepticon Justice Division, tracked down and punished any Decepticon who strayed from the path. But then when Megatron went and turned Autobot, uh... He did not blindly follow Megatron. He followed the Megatron that he knew and then went to have to go try to punish Megatron himself. So I think you'd find Lugnut following that similar path. He would be loyal to the Megatron that he knew as opposed to some guy who's up says, Hey, you know, I'm Galvatron. I used to be Megatron. And, you know, my only proof is here's a hint, blasting Starscream. Uh, so I... I I'm going to go with no. Lugnut would not be loyal to Galvatron because he would not believe that it's actually Megatron and he would be loyal to the memory of the Megatron that he knew. That's my guess. 
So good. That was a good, really good question. That was a really good question. Let's see. Brad saying it was oh, leaked that Inferno was next. Yeah, you know, I've I've heard that uh, Waspinator and Dinobot are coming too. So, um, it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. I. I I, I try to take, a, 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 I try to consider a lot of the things that I read on the fan pages and stuff like that. People saying they're data mining and stuff like that. I try to treat a lot of that stuff as rumors until we hear it from the developers, um, because I mean a lot of them have turned out to be true. A lot of the rumors that you hear, a lot of them have turned out to be true. I'll give them that. Uh, but I still, until we hear it officially, I like to consider it as basically still just a rumor. Because I'll tell you now, if I was a developer and I knew people were out there data mining my game, trying to look for information, I would throw red herrings in there. Like, for example, if, if I was actually out there, if I was a developer of this game, I would put paddles in the code. I would put wheelie in the code. Just to make you guys think we're getting them, even though Josh has said we're not, no way we're getting paddles or wheelie, I would put them in the code to make all the data miners think that we're going to get paddles and wheelie. That's what I would do if I was a developer. I would put all kinds of false information out there for you guys to go do it. So that so that when a lot of it starts to be proven false and some of it's true, you won't know which is which. So, so it would take all the power away from the data miners. So you say, well, here's what it could be. It could be another joke. It could be for real. You know? So, um, yeah. So, but, but yeah, you're right. A lot of the data mining has been correct. I, I will give it that. Um, I do agree. I, I think Wheelie would have been cool. I think I think Wheelie would actually make for a, for a pretty cool bot. Um, but I, I, I get it. I get the pa Paddles thing. First of all, Paddles is just like a super obscure character. Showed up, made, bait, was basically mentioned one time in one story somewhere. Never really had a representation in cartoon or comic form that I'm aware of. Even though there was a third party toy of it. But I mean, if you think about it in the game, there's no water. So what good would a plesiosaur, a water-based dinosaur, be in a game with no water? Okay, well, fine. Okay, there's water down here. But we don't play down here. <laughs> so, but Wheelie, I, mean, I think Wheelie would be pretty cool. Hey there, Beast Destroyer Gaming. Got your three-star tracks? Yeah, very cool. Connell Novak, welcome. Yes, uh, what'd you miss? Well, you missed all the... A lot of good discussion, and um, I did open the crystals. I pulled a few two-star tracks, and I actually pulled two three-star tracks. So I do have a three-star tracks, and got a duplicate. Also gave me enough uh, shards for a two-star crystal and a three-star crystal, which was a duplicate, which gave me the final four-star shards for a four-star crystal, which was a duplicate. Uh, so yeah, uh, if you want to see all that. This replay will be going up, and you can go ahead and go back and watch all all that fun. Um, let's see. So, hmm. Let's see. Skybite. Hmm. Yeah, we we haven't seen a whole lot from that particular continuity. Um, might have Megatron, sure, but. Uh, you know, Skybite's a shark, but it's right there in the name Skybite. He's a flying shark. So, you could kind of... I could, you know, he, even though he's more of a water-based alt mode, he's kind of a flying water-based alt mode. So, yeah, you could have Skybite for sure. Uh, let's see. Brad, I was just going to ask who you are, Big Bronze R. Okay, very cool. But, uh, hey, any help that you can give, any help that anybody can give is fantastic. So, so yes, thank you very much, sir. Thank you for uh, um, definitely helping out. Yeah. There's two tracks walking around the base. Is there really? There's one. I did not Alpha Bravo. I'm tapping right on him. Oh, you can't... It, uh, you know it's funny when you're trying to tap on a bot you tap on everything around them there you go that's the two star tracks rolling around he's looking for a mirror oh look at him flexing 
The <laughs> pipes walks right on him. <laughs> oh, he lifts off and flies around. Over to here, does a little flip, and you gotta pose again. And pop out all his wings and everything. <laughs> you guys are right, he does have a crazy transformation. <laughs> uh, let's see. You know, one thing, I, one, one thing I would like is the ability to hide your own power cores. Like, like, you, like you do in the, um, uh, uh, when you're attacking. I would like the ability to hide your own power cores without having to back out this far. I would like sometimes to be able to kind of like look at the base up close and go and see without having all the power cores be right, right in the way. It's bad enough that these resources pop up so quick. <laughs> but you can at least tap them and get rid of them. But uh, it, I would like to have just a button, just a toggle, to be able to turn turn the um, uh, power cores off. So, Jeremy says I uh, didn't get any tracks, just all two star shards. Oh, that sucks, man. Yeah, my other account, I didn't get a tracks either. What bots would I like to be added? Okay, well, I'm going to ignore the obvious ones, which I think are definitely going to be added, like the rest of the Protectobots and the Terracons. Those guys are definitely going to be added, so I'm not even going to go over those. Well, Hoist, obviously, I think would be great, because that would be my avatar in perpetuity. It would never be not Hoist, um, unless I was doing some like uh, uh, dialogue things, like, like I like to do, where I go and... Um, whatchamacallit, where I'll go and like recite quotes from the Transformers uh, movie where I'll actually uh, basically, I'll change the avatar to whoever said it and do all that, I like doing that occasionally, it's, it's pretty fun um, but other than that, if, if we got a hoist and we got the hoist avatar then uh, yeah, we'd be uh, hoist would be great um, let's see, who else would there would, would be a good one well with hoist you gotta have grapple because you know, he's, they're buddies some Decepticons. I think Tarn would be great. I don't know if they're going to go the IDW route, although they did with Drift. So... It would be cool to see some other... Uh, uh, you guys have mentioned uh, some, some other um, continuities, too. It would be nice to see... I know some people have talked about Transformers Prime. I, maybe like a knockout or... Um, probably not... They probably wouldn't bring Breakdown because we already have the original Breakdown. And, uh, you know, I get it with um, Megatron. There's a lot of Megatrons or whatever, the Optimus or whatever. I'm not sure if they would go that far with Breakdown. But I think it would be pretty pretty cool to see Knockout. Uh, um, let's see. Bulkhead, I think, would be great. Hmm. Looking around at all my figures, seeing uh, who we don't have. Blur, Drekgar, um, from the movie. I we gotta have Rekgar, so I, so I can because I'm dying to do some Rekgar quotes with that avatar. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, Hot Rod saying, "Hey, what's the Energon strategy? You got two or five builders working because such a shortage. Um, it takes almost as long to farm as it does wait time." Um, I don't know. I, I, yeah, you definitely farm uh, alloy a lot better, but I've been pretty lucky with Energon. Uh, it, it might take me a couple days to get to get up um, the Energon, but I mean, I, I did manage to get both of my lasers done, and I've got one of my uh, outposts going to um, HQ 16 level. Uh, so I and and, and uh, with all of that, I still managed to uh, level my power course quite a bit. So. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's just because I haven't leveled up as many bots on. Because I mean, it, it is like what? What was it? Three point seven million to go to level fifty. So I mean, I, it's really not a whole lot of strategy. I just I just go attack. Yeah, I've got I've got all my I've got all my team set up uh, about pretty equally. I mean, let's let's go through them. So these these guys hit zone twelve. Uh, these guys generally hit zone 10 or 11. These guys are 12. These guys hit 12. These guys hit 12. 
Uh, these guys are 11. They, they're good. I, I think I might have actually taken them in a 12 by mistake and managed to pull it off, but uh, they're more of a uh, zone 11 team. Um, these guys are 12. Uh, these guys are more 9. Uh, these guys are doing 10. And I do 7. So, and when I go attack, I generally run through my whole 10 squads. And when, uh, when I find that the fuel cells are maxed I, I go through and do it again so that's pretty much my strategy I just I just go attack um, that there's really no and, and, I, and I don't do the thing where I go try to go to a higher level zone and just hit the resources and um, back out or anything I don't do anything like that um, I do I do still have a fair amount of uh, energon in my inventory. Oh, you know, buying bundles with the with uh, uh, is giving me a fair amount of energon. Like all these 750s there, I think those came from the like uh, the combiner bundles. So buying way too many of those uh, gave me a fair amount of uh, energon in the inventory. So because like I, I did uh, uh, pop one of these. Um, What was it? I, th I think this uh, bundle, uh, the coin fuel cell bundle this weekend, I did get one of those. And I think that had a million Energon in it, and I actually did use that because I needed a... That's that's how I helped uh, level Lolita. As I, I did have actually save up a fair amount of Energon going into the event, just in case. Um, but I also um, did uh, get that just for fuel cells to help uh, Alita level and then also you know uh, normally I wouldn't go for Energon in a bundle but in that particular case it was helpful not that I really needed it because I had plenty in the inventory but a hey, um, let's see let's see Razor Quake saying he wants to see red alert yes red alert would be pretty cool um, we've already got you know the side swipe mold all we got to do is just uh, skin that um, a mold the, the the animation or whatever uh, G1 Red Alert. Uh, I don't know if he's still in the stream, but uh, I know he'd like that. Um, I think he's running with Sideswipe as his avatar because it's basically a Red Alert head. I would I would expect them to, if they did that, they would probably take the same Sideswipe head and give him a red head. Um, depending on what the the toy was or the or the cartoon, sometimes he had a black head, sometimes he had a red head. But I think red is the way it's supposed to go. I'm looking up at my uh, masterpiece and it's red. Uh, and I do like it that way. It kind of sets them apart from Sideswipe since they basically have the same head. How long have I been playing since the uh, global launch? Basically two years now. <clears throat> Skypoke saying new bots. Blur, Alpha Trion. Uh, I'm, yeah, you know, I don't think we'll get Alpha Trion because we got him as a Prime Core. Uh, I think he's saying Wheelie, uh, Die Atlas. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. Retgar. Uh, did you say Warpath? We got Warpath. Um, Tiger. Sorry, I'm not sure. Tigatron, maybe? Yeah, Tigatron uh, from uh, Beast Wars. Uh, that would actually be a pretty, pretty uh, easy one to do, too, because he basically shares the same uh, design as Cheetor, so you could get Tigatron. Uh for the Autobots slash Maximal team. Zombie Dreadwing or Breakdown. Yeah, speaking of which, Dread, uh, actually it wasn't as, it was Zombie Skyquake, actually. Um, although Dreadwing did die, so if he came back he would be a zombie too. Uh, but yeah, actually Dreadwing uh, from Prime would actually be really cool. I loved Dreadwing. I, I really hated that they... Uh, kind of killed him off there at the end, making him get all uh, vengeful against Starscream for killing his brother. Because, I mean, I really like, liked Dread, the Dreadwing character. I was I was so hoping, so hoping that Dreadwing was actually going to turn and uh, join the Autobots uh, like he did. Uh, basically, he kind of teamed up with them a little bit there when Starscream got that Apex armor. I was really kind of hoping that was going to be, but uh, uh, let's see. Zombie cliff jumper. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, we don't need zombie cliff jumper. Uh, Jeremy's asking uh, for his friend uh, Terrasimo. Yeah, shout out Terrasimo. 
Hope I said that right. Let's see, have I used tracks yet? No, I haven't used tracks. He's level one. I'm not going to use him for a while. He's just going to ride along for a. Uh, to get some level. I'm going to run him to level 10, pop him in the research lab, run him up to level 20, pop him in the research lab, and then run him up to level 30. Uh, that's pretty much how I go when I level my bots. Usually I'll use um, my combiners. Speaking of combiners, how could I forget about this? Look who's done... Not you. Look who's done at level 10. Victorion. So there she is. That's why I'm kidding. Every four star crystal that opens, or new four star that comes out of a premium crystal, Cliff Jumper, I get disappointed when it's not Rust Dust because that spot is open. It is a glaring hole. Glaring hole on this screen there is that Rust Dust spot. And uh, don't any of you take that out of uh, context and think you go in the gutter with that comment because I realized it after I said it a couple times. Um, well, let's see. Hot Rod's got a list of uh, desired bots. Red Alert, Hoist, oh, you know, thank you. Uh, even if you're saying that just for me. Uh, Dirge, Ramjet, yeah, that'd be pretty cool seeing some more uh, flyers. Believe it, for the Decepticons, because believe it or not, there's almost more jets on the Autobot side with the Aerial bots than there are on the Decepticons, even though the Decepticons are basically known for the jets for the seekers so yeah blur Rekgar, overlord oh overlord would be a tough one overlord I, I think i said this in one of the streams past uh, overlord i think would probably be the best counter for omega supreme because uh they're they even though overlord does turn into the tank and the jet he does also have a base mode uh, just like um, Omega Supreme has a base mode, and what else does Omega Supreme have? He's got the tank that goes around the base, and he's got the little rocket thing. So both of them have a base mode, a flying mode, and a basically tank mode, and they're both large bots. If they're going to bring Omega Supreme, I think Overlord would be a fantastic counter for the two of them. And they would, they're, since they're basically combiner-sized... Uh, you, Omega Supreme is definitely combiner size. Overlord may be a little smaller, depending on the continuity. But I would, I would, I'd be, I'd give them the bump to be combiner size. But they're not a combiner, like a traditional Scramble City style combiner, or even a Devastator combiner, which is, or even Predaking's not really Scramble City, uh, even though he has a five bot. Um, uh, they'd have to have be, they're, they're going to be special because they don't really fit anywhere because they're they're too big to be a normal bot on your team, but they're not a combiner. They'd have to be kind of some kind of a separate thing. Maybe they could be used like a combiner, I, I, um, but just in some kind of special event, maybe you can earn some Omega Supreme shards or something like that. I, I don't I don't know. I don't know how they would do it, but I think Overlord and Omega Supreme would be good to come out to, uh, uh, opposite each other. Rodimus Unicronus. Oh my goodness, the power of the primes. Uh, that guy is way too OP. Because, yeah, yeah. Grapple, yeah, Inferno, yeah. Now here's the thing about Inferno. Which, which mold, which, which, which Inferno would we get? Because uh, would we get the standard fire truck uh, G1 style Inferno? Speak, speaking of which, it's kind of something dropped off. But uh, uh, Inferno, this Inferno, I'd like to see this Inferno because that would be a real easy uh, skin to be grappled. Uh, or would we get the most likely Power of the Primes Inferno, who is basically a skin of Hotspot and uh, Pyro Magna? Because they share the same toy mold. Hmm. Or would it be Beast Wars Inferno? For the royalty! <laughs> I cracked up every time. Every Beast Wars episode that Inferno was in. It was, I was like, how could they name us by Inferno? That was, he's the fire truck. And then I saw, saw the episodes with him in and I was just cracking up. It was a great character, Beast Wars Inferno was. Oh, man. The way that Megatron's like, oh, face palm every time. Oh, man. Oh, <laughs> man. What, when is the masterclass version of Engineer Hoist complete with Pyramid? 
<laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about, Zalan. Speaking of which, uh, Zalan is one of our non-toxic gamers. Thanks for joining in the stream. If you guys are interested in Dawn of Titans or... Or, oh, oh, it's giving me a thing that it says I can't do it. I don't know what that means. Oh, there it is. I might actually do it a couple times. Uh, if, so uh, you go check out Zalan's channel. Uh, he does a lot of good Dawn Titans work. And uh, was it Shadows of War Mobile, I think? Uh, so, yeah, go go ch check him out. He's a, does a great streams. a great guy. Um, let's see. Yeah, G1 fan. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a big G1 fan. I was there for G1. I still got some of my G1 toys. So, so yeah, I, I'll, you'll never hear me say anything bad about G1 uh, other than the obvious things because, yeah, animation errors and cheesy stories and stuff like that. But, you know, that's what makes it great. It's for kids. Uh, and But, but uh, you yeah, know, the whole the, the nostalgia glasses are definitely on. Uh, but, yeah, I, d I definitely love G1. But, you know, what? I like all Transformers continuities. Uh, I can't really think it. Well, yes, I can think of one bad one. Uh, uh, on only because of based on the description on the wiki. <laughs> and if any of you guys are uh, have, <laughs> have read the wiki and followed that, um, you'll definitely uh, know what I'm talking about. Um... Yes, Hot Rod is way too strong in Power of the Primes. Um, but yes, I do love the paint scheme and the toy. The toy, Rodimus Unicronus, the toy. Yeah, you know, seeing that, you know, um, you know, we see the Rodimus Prime toy come out from the Power of the Primes, and which, which is a great toy, and then Optimus Prime, great toy too. And then they, then I'm seeing the previews and the and the, um, talk, the talk about, oh yeah, we're going to give you a uh, black uh, Rodimus Prime. You know, we're going to call it Rodimus Unicronus. Oh, wow, who needs that? Who needs that? Who needs that? That toy is fantastic. If you got to get one or the other, get the Rodimus Unicronus. It is so much. I, I don't know. Uh, it, it's the exact same toy, but he just does have a different head, and the head is fantastic. <laughs> but uh, yes, Uni Rodimus Unicronus is just amazing. I, I, I love it way more than I thought I would. Uh, for especially for a repaint, uh, so yeah. Um, do I have any transformers from the '80s? I do actually. Some some of the can I share? Uh, not right now. Um, I don't have them uh, easily available. They're 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 nearby. But they're not within reach. I do have a I do have a couple of uh, actual reissues too. I got uh, Predaking and. Uh, Piranicon, actually, I got the uh, re, uh, re reissues, so they're not from the eight, '80s, um, but they were based on the toys from the '80s. Um, got excellent deals on them. I think there was a sale on Amazon for Predator King for like thirty bucks or something like that. Same thing, Piranicon had been reissued, and it was just sitting there gathering dust over at the big bad toy store warehouse, and so they had him on sale for thirty bucks. I'm like, yeah, I'll take it. Uh, so. Um, and the only combiner that I managed to complete as, as a kid from the actual G1, and I still have him, is Computron. So that th those, yeah, we didn't even mention them. Computron bots, the Technobots. I'd love to see the Technobots in the game. Um, and they would actually be the ones that made the most sense to go against Terracons because they came out at the same time or were kind of rivals. Um, in fact, when I was going back doing my research for that cutthroat voice, which is way too screechy for me to try to do without any kind of uh, technical assistance, it was all about the Terracons against the Technobots. So, yeah, let's see. Oh, we want to see tracks transform in the... Uh, what do you call it? The viewing room? What do they call it? The hangar? The showcase? The lab? Or the... So there, there he is. Got his black beam gun. Oh, he's looking all cool. Okay, so you want to transform him? Okay. Oh, yeah. Got the rock and roll. That would have been suited for, for a blaster or jazz. He's a low flying car jet. Oh yeah. Do robots have muscles? What's he even flexing though? 
I think that's a behavior he learned from the humans. But then again, he just got here. So, I don't know. Maybe, maybe he polished his uh, underside of his arms or something. He just wanted to show off. Hey, look at my uh, underside of my arms. But, uh... <laughs> Let's see. My favorite G1 bot? Hot Rod. I still got him somewhere. I think he's buried under the... <laughs> You can't see, but I got a whole desk full of bots over here. Uh, yeah, I, think, I think he's back there somewhere. That's, that's still, it, and uh, I do wish I, you know, kids will be kids. Kids play with toys. They don't take care of them. But his, his, his stickers are all scraped off and everything. And uh, I know I can get some repro labels. He had the rubber tires. They're all dry rotted. But he also even had the die cast little feet. So uh, and if, if I'm reading, that, that's actually a fairly early uh, version of Hot Rod, so. Alright, let's see. Will I record the cutscenes later? You know, I thought about it. I might actually just record them and not do any voices and work on the voices later. Let's see. Who would win? Strafe, Hot Rod, or Thor? Well, that's an interesting thing. Well, I'll tell you now, if it was Hot Rod from Power of the Primes after being corrupted by Unicron, that's easy. It's going to be Hot Rod. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Lightspeed is the uh, Technobot who was the red sports car. Yep. Let's see. That was Lightspeed. Afterburner was the motorcycle. Strafe, of course, was the jet. Nose Cone was the tank. And Scattershot was the center... The, you know, the torso. And he was kind of a spaceship cannon thingy. Um, but, uh, yeah, in that toy that I had from Computron, uh, one, th one thing is I do have them have, uh, I accidentally twisted off Nose Cone's head somehow in one of the little things, so, so I've got a, a, a he still works as an arm, uh, but he doesn't work as a leg anymore. Um, flexible cyber muscles. <laughs> Let's see, uh, who's the favorite character from Prime? I don't know. I like Wheeljack a lot in Prime. Bulkhead, too. Uh, yeah. And how can you not like Miko? I mean, I, mean I, I know, you know, a lot of people are down on the humans or whatever, but Pr Transformers Prime did it right. You know, they were they were helpful. They they, they did they and they had good characters. Uh, where Spike. It was always, hey, Bumblebee, let's go see what the other guys are doing. And then the Autobots are about to win. And they're like, oh, no, Spike and Bumblebee, we got to save them. And then the Decepticons win or get away. I mean, it's like, how many times I got to do that before they just lock them in a room somewhere and just say, you guys stay here? You know, so. All right. Oh, my goodness, look how long we've been going for. Okay, I, I was only coming on here for like, you know, a few minutes to do this, the, <laughs> to do the crystals and, uh, <laughs> and to do some uh, uh, replays and we've been here for an hour and 38 minutes. That is crazy. Uh, you guys make it fun though. I, I really do appreciate everybody uh, stopping by and hanging out. And uh, for everybody uh, who subscribed during the stream, thank you. Uh, so much and and for anybody everybody else who's already subscribed and shows up every time thank you it, it's it's a it's a great time uh, and uh, you, you make the time pass like it like it's like it's nothing it's um, abs absolutely uh, uh, wonderful and I, I, I just I just love it uh, one last thing I did see this question come in what do I think about the bumblebee movie coming out the trailer looks great but all the trailers have looked great Okay, all of the trailers have looked great, and I. But I've enjoyed every movie except the last night. The last night I was bored. Honestly, that was that was the only movie I was in there where I was. It was about like halfway through. I'm like, how long is this going to take? Oh my god, we're only about halfway through. Um, but but other than that, uh, I do think I do think it's got good potential. I love the design of Bumblebee, and I love that he's. Uh, uh, bug and he looks like he might even have a Jeep mode. Starscream looks fantastic. I don't care what people say. That there's no way that's not Starscream. There's no way that's not Starscream. All right. Because um, I, I mean, it's except for the different jet mode, which I'm totally okay with. That's unmistakably Starscream. You know. So anyway, anyway. Um, but but yeah, uh, I, I 
I'll go see it. Absolutely, I'll go see it the opening weekend. Um, but uh, I liked it. it. My favorite part of the trailer, and I, I, I almost shed a tear is when it first started up, and they had uh, Uncle Bobby B, baby. You know, Bernie Mac, the voiceover from that first movie. You know, the car, driver doesn't pick the car. The car picks the driver. It's a mystical bond between man and machine. That, that voiceover, we're not going to see him in the movie, and I'm sure that that was just put in there just as a callback to the movie, but because it was still, it was kind of very much the same way. This this human character kind of just kind of stumbles upon Bumblebee, and they kind of, they, they just kind of come together. Uh, and so I just loved that voiceover, and, and it was fantastic. You know, just, I mean, that right there made me fall in love. And so, yes, I definitely... Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing the movie. I loved the trailer, though. The, tra the trailer's awesome. Uh, hopefully, the uh, movie will live up to the hype. And uh, yes, you're right, Razor Quake. It's not the longest stream I've done. Uh, that one I intended to go fairly long. In fact, I intended to do a little bit longer until I got, got had a visitor. Um, but, you know, so... Uh, DC Natives... <laughs> okay, uh, you guys keep asking me good questions. Um... In the movie last night, how did Galvatron revert to Megatron? You don't think it was explained in the movie? Nope, not explained at all. He was just Megatron. And that's 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 one of the big criticisms with the last night. They basically flipped so much of what had already been established on his head. Like, for example, um, I had to think back about it. You know, i got to go watch the movie again just to see if, if I was wrong. Because, if for, you know... You, the opening of the first movie, you see them all coming in as protoforms. And I was thinking, I was like, well, how could Bumblebee be here? But then I started thinking about it. You know, did we see Bumblebee come in? Or was he just kind of always there? Did we? F I think we may have first met Bumblebee in the car uh, lot where Sam, you know, bought him. Uh, so Bumblebee may have been here all along, which would make sense about this next movie coming in. But Optimus Prime, Ironhide, and I don't know if we saw Decepticons coming in, but... Uh, um, but like Ironhide, he's the guy, he's the one who landed in the pool. The little girl went out, he probably, he almost stepped on her. So, so, but, but yet the last night shows Ironhide back in like the 1800s fighting wooden ships or something. So they basically just, flip, oh, the Transformers have always been here. Uh, yeah, but not those Transformers. Uh, you know, so, uh, although I suppose the Revenge of Fallen did kind of do that too. Jetfire was there for a while, and, and they did show a lot of them coming. So so it didn't totally... So it was kind of there already, but, I mean, Bumblebee being in World War... Yes, yeah, so, so the, anyway, so yeah, we don't need to go over it. Um, but yeah, no, they totally didn't explain the whole Galvatron back to Megatron thing. I think it was just he was going... You know, they made him into Galvatron, and then he kind of goes off somewhere, thinks about it. It's like, you know... I really like Megatron better. I think I'm going to be Megatron. Oh, by the way, I'm going to change out of this truck mode into a spaceship mode and totally put on another helmet. And, you know. So, yeah, yep. Yeah. But so some of that stuff, we got to remember what are Transformers all about? What started the Transformers and what were they all about? In fact, I'm going to go ahead and pull out one of show up one of my studios here. They're all about these guys. The toys. Transformers are a toy line. Anything else around it is d essentially designed to sell these. Would I have bought a Stinger figure if he wasn't as cool as he was in the Age of Extinction? Well, yeah, I probably would have, but um, but it helps, you know. So yeah, so, so just, we, we do have to remember that Transformers is a toy line. So the, why, why do things change from movie to movie and from series to series? Well, nobody wants to buy the same toy that they bought the last for the last movie. Although they do do that too. But uh, by like the, the Dinobots for uh, the last night. It's the same Dinobots, except for, except for Scorn. Both Scorns are awesome. Okay. Uh, all right. What, one, one last one. Do I like Galvatron being a separate character than Megatron, or them being being uh, the same? Yeah. Honestly, I'm good either way. 
Uh, obviously, from uh, the G1 cartoon, Megatron became Galvatron. They were one and the same. Uh, in the comics, uh, actually the G1 comics, I think they were the same one, although they did coexist because I think there was some weird time travel thing where Galvatron went back in time or something. Uh, but in the IDW comics, they are actually two separate, completely separate and distinct characters, uh, not at all related. And I'm okay either way as long as it's a good story. All right, and Beast Destroyer, no. Um, sorry. Um, in, uh, let's see. How are their baby Dinobots? Uh, psh, I don't know. Who, could they reproduce? Who's to, who's to say Cade didn't create them? Because he's ha been hanging around with the Transformers uh, a lot. And uh, so who knows? Maybe he kind of figured something out. Uh, who knows? man but uh actually could they re reproduce revenge of the fallen they showed them off on the moon or something somewhere they had protoforms and starscream was trying to feed them like a mama bird or something like that all right man Th thanks kevin uh yes um everybody everybody's uh popping off i gotta pop off too thank you guys so much i'm getting out of here i'm engineer hoist keep rolling my friends thanks for watching